Woohoo! Foul part patrician of misery. The cutest man with Valley Durgo is to know the epoch of joy is that it has come to an abrupt end. Jimmy's <laughs> King of Grotesquery, Ref Lord of Let's be on hood. Hearing his melodious, mel melodious chirps and tongue clicks causes one's bones to explode. The closer is a bog off, the deep, deep one. Oops. Whenever he grinds his teeth, all the children in the random galaxy will somewhere will sound continuously for a 9,000 year span. He's the first and smallest of the smaller gods. The fortune and servitude of the vile, unfathomable pantheon of middling gods. It's paired to the whims of the noble circle of floor towers. A munificent, omnipotent order of the elite few, forever cloaked in the darkness of the farthest rain. Then there's this strange page containing some rather mysterious notes on summoning procedures. You've never been quite sure what these diagrams are getting at. Rose, take items and proceed downstairs. You each have to watch everything on your way. You want to appear on the tree and head down the stairs. Maybe that's enough dilly dallying. Time to get a new one. Alright. Okay. The rain will level that up. It's been since the month began. Perhaps long enough to forget its purpose. No longer even knows to saw uh, fire. Somewhere a zealous god freds these strings between the clouds and the earth. Preparing for a symphony appears impossible to play. Until threads on and on delaying the rise of the conductor of the time. How you hate this season. April is the cruelest month. Being lilacs well out of the dead land. Mixing memory and desire. Stirring dull roots with spring rain. American sports legend, Charles Barkley. Confront other in the hall. Sure, the mother is already looking nearby. You shouldn't be prepared for it. You should be prepared for an unpleasant come from. What? Sure, your mother is lurking nearby. You should be prepared for an unpleasant come from. This is really cool, dude. Okay? That was sudden. Chill, like cool dudes are known to do sometimes. A cool dude is, is like this probably because he has a really cool name. But he probably wouldn't just tell you ever if he, what it was ever if you asked. He'd be way too busy for that. Busy being totally sweet. But you can never, like you just have always tried to guess his name. And even in Hawaii, he might not know ever so slightly. That's how cool this way to let you know that this just might be hope for you yet. Enter name. What? Sure. Insufferable prep. This guy doesn't have a, a the time for this sort of bolt.
Dave Strider. Is an unseasonably warm April day. The Battle of Mondo is open to Lux Marin, and the fans crank. Arguably, even more crank would be our fly beats, which brings us to a variety of interests. A cooler like you is sure to have plenty. You have Henshin for spending out all these unbelievably ill jams with your turntable and mixing gear. We like to rave about band no one's ever heard of but you. You all, you collect weird th dead things preserved in various ways. You are an amateur photographer and operate your own makeshift dark room. In 1990, you have a very humorous blog, websites, and social networking profiles. Disney inspiration strikes the 108 to drop some fast rhymes on a mofo would represent. What we do, Dave, quickly receive arms from, from cinder blocks. Nah. Dave, get the beta and save your friend's life! Also, oops. This notion strikes you as nonsensical. You can't wear it. Fail three times combo. Save it. That's someone's life. And in any case, you're not quite sure. I'm quite sure no one you know is in any danger. Anyway, these are copies you, uh, uh, you, you see the lady you see the mail or something. The only one with your name in bold red pen to distinguish them from your bro scout. Whose labels hid in the card. Neither of you really gives up about this game and has any attention to playing it, but you'll be darned if, if you let that get away get in the way of campaign of one up and ship. Dave. We like to go on your and pee on your turntable. table. You would never consider any allowing any fluid, even remotely resembling your own, to touch your beloved turntables. How it is breaking them. In the world without the gift of your godly science, it just like just doesn't sound like a place you want to be any part of. While you're at it, you might as well wipe out your information with a meter or something ridiculous. Like that will probably never happen. That sort of thing only happens for st stupid mid idiot movies for stupid idiots. You'll have a template theme that I could go for a long for humorous, humorous purposes, at, purposes at a later date. Examine closely. Let's see your cost. Then I see why I did crap. Look at box. In the bottom of what's that? that? Dave, check the blue box. This is a package you, uh, your friend John Edwards sent to you on for your 13th birthday a little while ago. Now it contains nothing except a note. And genuine Hollywood memorabilia of the box of is what the box of resume really contained. Alright. Which you are now wearing to be ironic and to also be incredibly long in a way somehow intangibly bring you to the ironic nature of the accessory. <laughs> you uh, you find it sort of exasperating to exasperating to explain these subtleties to the people. The box also included a fine signed photo of Ben Stiller, which now probably hangs above your crotch. Probably and ironically. And wow, I'm running out of time. This much longer, so